Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. And our project today is to slaughter some chickens. Hi, Shannon. No. So first thing we need to do is, I guess, hold the camera nice and steady and watch what you're doing. Well, These are pretty big ones over on this other side, pretty tall ones. These look like hens here. We'll go for one of these big rooster looking birds here. Nobody volunteered, you just volunteered usually, usually, them. Every time I open up, usually one jumps out for sure. This one here keeps biting me. So. <laughs> no. Relax. No. <laughs> so, just one simple thing here, the most humane way to harvest a chicken to me is just to their heads off. We just let them, let them all have a nice big dinner. No. Mm -hmm. He's still talking. Okay. Let me do two of them real quick while we're here. Just stay. Two. Put him down. Does he have a big thingy? Yep, full crop completely. The sucker's waiting for some more lungs or something. Yeah. If you don't wet them down, then you get feathers all over your meat and stuff, and then you gotta play games with that. Kind of sucks. It's an extra hassle. I wonder what does a human body look like when you tear it apart. Oh, you want to see? Not really. I can arrange that for you. Kind of, but no. I guess I could look online. I think so. I'll be the first place to look. If you do a few of them, it gets a lot easier. So I gotta wet it down a little bit. Now I'll just grab my finger in here and try to pull. Stir the skin. Peel the skin off. The legs almost, the legs almost get skin right by themselves. Something got on here. Sorry. The leg kind of looks like a balloon when you yeah, press it. Like yeah. But a gross balloon. Which is horrible. It tastes good though, don't they? But they used to anyway, huh? All I'm doing is popping the leg bone out of the pelvis. They use. Kind of see there's a line right there. Just Right along that line. I 
some thought they tasted good, but not anymore. I think if I'm ever stuck in the woods, I don't think I'm going to kill an animal because it looks too gross. Well, the worst part in the woods is there's so many poisonous plants. If they eat a poisonous plant, you die. Where everything that's walking around, anything from a cricket to a rat to a snake to a fish, a crab, everything, those are all edible. I think I'm just going to starve myself to death. That's a good way to go about it. Uh, what's that? A 
that's the lungs there. This must be the liver. Like that. That's not way as bad, but that's bad. That's the lungs right there, I think. Ugh. These chickens have a brain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a brain in the head. Not very big, but there. They have a bird brain. <laughs> Heart. The same stuff you got. Chickens we'll get out there? Fifteen. Fifteen, that's only two. That's a long way to go. Yeah. But it'll free it'll fill the freezer up and allow us to stop feeding them. And we just feed just the ones that are roaming around loose. Yeah. Who we don't even eat. Because they're nice. Yeah, well. They'd be nice in a pan too, huh? No. They're pets. Your pet? Not mine. My dinner. You can't eat the chicken. I will if I need to. I won't. Let you. <laughs> I wonder what happens when you chop off their head. Do they feel anything? I think so. Well, that happens pretty fast. Okay. All right, well, two chickens is enough for right now. We'll, we'll hit the rest of them after a while. Get your mom involved in it. That's all I got for now. I'm soaked just from two chickens. Um, got four drumsticks and two breasts. And I want to, I want to get them all in the freezer is what I want to do. And then we'll maybe maybe we can get some more chicks. I don't know, but I'm, um, they're costing us a lot of money just sitting there eat, eating the, the food we're giving them, and they're losing weight. So this, this is a waste of time. Um, that's all I've got for now. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact us anytime at blindoutdoors at gmail.com. Um. I guess thank you, and everybody, everybody, stay safe. We'll see you next time. Bye.